So, Marius, at last I find you. Tyrion. Yes, now, now I recognize you, you. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. They're, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. Wasn't my fault. Not your fault. Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes, it was. It was the Wanderer. My days in the Rogue Citadel. In the rogue citadels so long ago, I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts high in the mountains past the eastern gate. When I dreamt, the memories would return. Memories of the monastery and the evil which it claimed. Dreams, memories. I couldn't tell the difference anymore. Could he found me here? How could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? Demons of his own. He struggled to contain. <laughs> he was losing. Became convinced that I was truly mad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream, or were they born within the wonder?
did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. Always into the east. <laughs>